And although you, you look at other folks saying, oh, you should never do that if you're a woman. You should never do that over the age of 50. I'm saying you have too much insulin in your body. You have to do that to get the pancreas to make less insulin over time. On that point, between men and women, are there metabolic differences that need to be mentioned here? Because, you know, when I sometimes when I do ketogenic fasting, my girlfriend, she takes much longer than me to get into a ketogenic state. And I'm wondering if her body is in some way trying to defend. Mm, I'm not either, but they drop these people off in the middle of nowhere and they starve them to death. And you watch the fat come off of them. And the men, the fat just melts off of them. And the women... They do what your girlfriend does. It just holds on to them. That we are designed to have that fat on them. So asking them to do a ketogenic state, you'll hear people say, oh, it's going to ruin your hormones. Oh, it's going to, you can't do that. And um, I would say you can have all those conversations once their insulin is normal. But I have lots of women in childbearing years that are excessive producers of insulin and their vitamin D is low, their estrogen is low, they have hair loss on the top of their head, they have skin tags throughout their body, or maybe the first sign was they had PCOS. Okay, all of these are a sign that insulin came in and it's too high in their body. So lowering it has rules, and if you want to have a baby, carry a baby, uh, have uh, the weight come off after you've gestated a baby, um, have weight not be your enemy during menopause, you have to be making ketones at a routine and regular interval. And start with the food. Start with the menus in the kitchen. Don't run to the gym first. 